coming up on this episode of South Coast Spotlight. See how one man has helped so many through microfinance, discover the importance of college internships and how they help students get future jobs, and get ready for some good family fun at the Parent Click Child and Teen Expo. All that and more coming up right now on this episode of South Coast Spotlight. Welcome to South Coast Spotlight. I'm Juliandra Durkin from TV Santa Barbara. Up next, join us as Westmont College draws the community into a global dialogue about the importance of microfinance as it has changed millions of lives. The Westmont Foundation board members are very excited to be able to introduce Dr. Muhammad Yunus to the Santa Barbara community. As you undoubtedly know, Dr. Yunus is a recipient of a Nobel Prize for his contribution to world peace. Dr. Muhammad Yunus can be said to be a true revolutionary in the very fine sense of the word. He has created a seismic change potentially in the lives of millions of people. My first loan was a total of $27, given to 42 people. So you can imagine how small the loan is. Today, after some 38 years later, we have eight and a half million borrowers in that bank in Bangladesh. Muhammad Yunus, a leader of microfinance, addressed Westmont College students, faculty, and Santa Barbara community members at the ninth annual President's Breakfast. Yunus stressed that establishing financial credit is a fundamental human right and offered a unique perspective of social good business. Credit should be accepted as a human right because it changes a person's life. There's no reason why anybody should be a poor person because everybody is packed with unlimited capacity to take care of themselves if we know how to create the institutions that we have around us. The Westmont community lauded Eunice as a critical thinker in the field of business, hoping that his appearance in Santa Barbara would address some of our city's growing economic problems. Eunice represents a transition to social good business practices and many nonprofits and major companies have taken notice. The Westmont Leadership Award, given this day to Muhammad Yunus in recognition of transforming millions of lives throughout the world by pioneering the use of microfinance to help the poor, given this day, February 28th, 2014. It was just captivating. I was just struck by both the humility of your spirit and the breadth of your vision. And it's just, as we left last night, I was just incredibly inspired by what you have done with your life. To me, uh your story of one man can change a nation and change a world and I think each person in this room is capable of the same thing and you're going to inspire us. Yunus forged his idea of microfinancing by observing loan sharks in the villages of Bangladesh. By loaning small amounts of money, primarily to women with unique business ideas, Yunus alleviated these economic burdens and started what is now known as the Grameen Village Bank. Even today, after 38 years, we don't have a single branch in any city of my country. We are in the village. So we go to the village and the remote village. The remote you are, more closer to the philosophy of Grameen Bank. Conventional banks are owned by rich people and particularly rich men. We reversed it too. Grameen Bank is owned by the borrowers who happen to be poor women. Since the inception of Grameen Bank, Yunus has reached nearly 8 million people in Bangladesh alone, and countless others through his books and international banks. Yunus challenges traditional banking by successfully loaning money to the poor and offering the hope of a world without poverty. The first annual event called The Newsroom, put on by the Film and Media Department of UCSB, has created connections with both students and local media professionals. Hi, I'm Alina. I'm a first year poli sign teacher. Hi, I'm Lily, second year film major. I'm Kelsey, second year film com. Wow, <laughs> well, it's great to see all of you here. 
the newsroom engages students with broadcast professionals who strive to work in their field. You know, meeting people in the industry is something that I was always excited about, so I knew that I wanted to give back and, you know, reflect on the experience that I've had and hopefully help you guys and inspire you. I feel like we need to pass on the knowledge that we know, but also learn from the students. Mm -hmm. um, the students are learning the latest technology, um, what's happening now on campuses, and I feel there needs to be that relationship so that we can work together. Students have the opportunity to grow these companies to add something that maybe they didn't have before. And also help the future generations to become in the positions that we're at too. Although UCSB does not have a journalism major, students show great interest in the field and both professionals and students have enjoyed participating. I think so far my favorite part of the weekend has been um, the seminar with Victoria Sanchez just because that's closest to what I want to do, so I feel like I was able to really learn a lot in that one. I loved being asked what I do and to share what I do. You know, it's that sad thing is just seeing someone so excited that they don't like, I want to do this, and having a freshman say, I can start interning now. My favorite part of the weekend was probably the opportunity um, and learning and learning experience that it provided the students who attended. There's only so much that you can learn in a classroom, and this really gave them the experience to interact with journalists and see what they go through in their day-to-day -day life. I think my favorite part is just seeing like how many, how involved everybody was when they were. Um, asking questions and I hopefully I was given some good answers. It's all about learning and it's all about you can do everything yourself. Seeing their eyes light up when you know maybe they heard something they hadn't considered before and they're writing notes and I just thought what an amazing way that I could give back and it really makes me so proud to be able to share this knowledge with them. The weekend allows broadcast or print journalists from the area to give back and offer advice to students eager to get involved in the industry. My advice is be driven, always ask questions, and write things down. I definitely encourage internships. I, I try to stress internships, internships, internships to all college students because that's going to really stand out on a resume. At TV Santa Barbara, we're a small nonprofit community television channel, and Part of our mission is to really educate and teach people how to make media. And I think that's one reason that our internship program is so strong and is so thriving. We actually have more interns than we have paid staff members. And I think that really makes us focus on what's important, which is about giving back and about training and about really um, empowering students to become the next media makers. Next year, I hope that um, maybe more presenters and maybe I'll have some of this knowledge under my own belt so I can just keep building and building from what I already know from the previous year. The film department has high hopes for the weekend in the future and would like the event to grow with more companies who have interest in attending. It would be good for them to know that there is a large body of students at UCSB who are very interested in um, broadcast and the journalism field. There are students who are really eager to make connections, to find internships, and grow those relationships that could foster jobs for them in the future. The students can really create opportunities for them. And they, have, they have something they're excited about, and this was something we talked about a couple months ago, and now it's happening, and I imagine 10 years from now. We'll be celebrating its anniversary and the guests that are coming in will just be amazing. This offers companies an opportunity to get to know well-qualified students for future internships. Hi, this is John of Valencia with TV Santa Barbara bringing you an event at the Parent Click Child and Teen Expo. The 10th annual Child and Teen Expo gives children a chance of all ages to enjoy a fun-filled day with hands-on activity, free stuff for parents and kids of all ages, educational resources, and back-to-back -back incredible shows. Local organizations in Santa Barbara all come together to promote their services about educating kids in a fun and safe environment. And so we're out here today at the Parent Click Kid and Teens Expo. We're really excited about it. Really, really fun time, and we're just so thankful to be out here and, and uh, hearing good music and meeting great folks and having a good time playing and climbing. Behind me we've got the climbing tower from UCSB and today for all those that come out it's free climbing and they get a chance to go up and climb the adventure tower. We think this is a really awesome opportunity to get in front of parents and talk about financial planning and our theme is get your ducks in a row. So we have the kids color rubber ducky and it just is a continual reminder to parents that 
um, getting your, your things in order is a very important thing in life. I am the director of the YMCA preschool and after school programs here in Santa Barbara. Out here, you know, sharing information about our camp. Uh, we also have summer camp that we're promoting, um, our after school program, our preschool, and we're doing this wonderful uh, flower art project. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm working for Maria's Face Painting. We hope we get a lot of business. Organization to help parents like around the community like centralize resources so that uh, it's easier to find like camps and things. So this is just an event we do once a year called the Kids Expo so that businesses can get more exposure and it's easier for parents to come and like get to know the businesses and for the businesses to get to know their clients. Um, my name's Abby and this is Good Times Guitar and my dad and some other people help teach kids guitar like starting at age seven and I've been playing ever since. TV Santa Barbara offers youth media programs that provides hands-on professional training in media production so kids can create media with a lasting impact through our fun and engaging programs. You're watching TVSB? Hi, you're, you're watching, watching TVSB. My name is August Hendricks and I'm watching TVSB. Hi,